بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Now let's uh, go back to our hydroalkylation uh, hydro dealkylation uh, plan and uh, let's start talking about streams in general what are streams they are either material or energy streams and in this case we would like to have hydrogen reacted with toluene to produce benzene and some side products such as methane and biphenyl. So in general, let's start with the feed conditions. How do we use a stream or insert a stream onto the flow sheet? All we need to do is click on the stream here and just click on the simulation environment. And notice now what we have is Hysis gave the name stream one to that stream that we have placed, I would like to place another stream here. And notice what Hysis is doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It will start with uh, uh, numbering streams from the last numbered stream in this case. Uh, sometimes the resolution might be uh, not good. So if I want to increase the zoom level, I can do this. Or I can do this, which reduces the zoom. Or I can do what? Zoom all. What is? What does zoom all do? It will show me the largest possible view of what I have drawn in the simulation environment. Now remember, last time uh, we talked that Hysis uses color coding. And in color coding, for streams. The color of stream right now is light blue. Which means what? The stream is not defined. There is no information or not enough information in that stream. Once the stream is fully defined, its color is going to be dark blue. Let's try and see how to fill in information. If I double click on that stream, stream one for example, Notice what Hysis showed me. It showed me some properties of that stream and it's called the worksheet in this tab. And we have some empty cells that are blue. And we have some empty cells that are red and we will have some empty cells that are black. What does blue cells mean? it means that I can enter numbers in those cells. Black cells, it's calculated by Hysis. I cannot change it. So, how to define a stream that is fit into the flow sheet? And just one more reminder, always it's a good practice to save your work. So I will so save my work. Okay? It wouldn't cost you so much time to save it, but it will cost you a lot of trouble if your computer crashes or something happens. So how to define a stream that is entering a flow sheet? We need to define its temperature, pressure, flow rate, and composition. Usually, those are the variables that we need to define. So, the problem now, notice, I would like to use the British system of units. But HISIS by default is designed, designed for its I units. How can I change the system of units in HISIS? It's very easy. I don't want to use this now. I will go to tools. and preferences. But we have so many choices here. I 
I'm not interested in so many of those choices. What I need is variables to select variables. And notice by default, Hysis uses the Euro SI. I would like to use the field. That's all I need to do. Notice what happened now to this stream properties. All properties changed from SI into the field or British system of units. So this is going to be my feed stream, which is toluene, pure toluene, at a flow rate of 25,600, or I'm sorry, 262 pound per hour which is the default unit. But notice the nice thing about ISIS, it's a conversion utility. If you have your flow rates in any other unit, you don't need to convert it. Let ISIS do it for you. 25, 262 pounds per hour. The pressure is 569 PSIA. It's because it's the field unit. It's the default. The temperature is 75 degrees and notice it's Fahrenheit if you have it in 15 for example I'm not going to use this number for example 15 degrees Celsius that I have all I need to do is insert 15 and what happened is Hysis by default changed what I entered in Celsius into Fahrenheit so I'm going to revert back to the 75 degrees Fahrenheit now back to the color coding of Hysis Notice now this sign here. Let me delete what I have entered now. And return back here. And notice what I have in Hysis. Hysis by default guides me through the required pieces of information that I have to provide. So now Hysis is telling me unknown compositions. I would like to have pure toluene. Where can I find compositions? Composition, if I go back to the left, notice first we have conditions, then properties, then conditions. Uh, composition, I'm sorry. In the composition now, what we have is the components that I have entered. And I would like to have pure toluene. So all I need to do, and remember this is blue, which means what? I can enter values here. This is one. And that's all I need. I don't need to enter anything else. Hysis by default will assume that any empty value is a zero right now. Notice once again, Hysis is guiding me. What did it tell me? In the status bar here, unknown flow rate. Where can I find flow rate? In the conditions. So I will go to the mass flow rate and I will enter back to 25 to 62 pounds here. And notice directly Hysis did what? It calculated the molar flow rate. How did it know the molar flow rate? By default I have the composition and I have the molecular weight in the data bank of Hysis so it can calculate the average molecular weight of this stream and we have the total mass flow rate so all you need to do is to do what? Divide by the, divide the flow rate by the mass flow rate and you will get the molar flow rate. The pressure is 569 PSIA. I'm sorry, the is still telling me it does not know the temperature. Our temperature is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Hysis is telling me also unknown pressure, 569. Notice now the status bar. It's green. It's like a traffic light, which means what? Everything is specified on this stream and you don't need to input any other data or more information. What happened now is Hysis calculated all the properties. For example, if we look here, vapor phase fraction is zero, which means what? This stream is liquid. 
the vapor phase fraction gave you, gives you the fraction of vapor in this stream. If it is zero, it is liquid. If it is one, it is vapor. If it is between zero and one, it means it's a mixture of vapor and liquid. In addition, Heiss calculated the enthalpy, the entropy, the volumetric flow rate, and so on. In fact, Heiss did not just calculate those values. If I go to the properties, I will find that Heiss calculated the average molecular weight, molar density, mass density, mass enthalpy, mass entropy, so many properties Heiss calculated from just the small pieces of information that I have provided to Heiss in general. So, this stream is enough for me right now. And notice what is the color of stream one now. It is dark blue. Dark blue in Heiss means what? It means that this stream is fully specified. You do not need to enter any more, any other information. While look at stream two, it is light blue, which means what? The information is missing on this stream. <coughs> so let's specify stream two now. How do we specify it? Once again, double click on two, and let's go to highest is objecting that temperature is unknown so I will define at 70 degrees Fahrenheit now this this is going to be pure hydrogen at 569 unknown pressure 569 yes I a and mass flow rate is another 549 pounds per hour and it's going to be pure hydrogen so I'll go to composition tab and provide hydrogen as one and that's all I need okay now notice streams one and two are now well defined no need to define any other thing so how do we move from here we have streams now but we don't have unit operations I would like to combine those two streams into a single stream to be fed to the reactor. So what do I do in this case? I, I would like to combine them. Combining streams means it's mixing. It's a mixer. So I would like to go to the mixer and insert the mixer here. Once again, the color coding. Notice the color of the mixer. It does not have any grayish or yellowish colors. Once you see the, those colors, it's reddish blackish. It means that the mixer or the unit operation, any unit operation in Hysis is not well connected and it not, does not have enough information. So I would like to connect this mixer to one and two. What do I do? Once again, to connect either, I can use the, those icons to connect them, but I would prefer to use, double click on the mixer here, and notice the design now. For any unit operation, you will see the design. What is the design? It's, it's connectivity. How is it connected? Which streams it is connected to, and which streams? It's uh, at the inlet and at the outlet. So notice, at the inlets for a mixer and inlets, it's a plural. While at the outlet, we have one stream. So for a mixer, we have so many streams at the inlet and we only have one stream at the outlet. So notice, by default, Hysis will give you a stream that is not connected, one and two. Notice now, they are connected to this mixer, but we need an outlet stream. I can do it the old way, which means click on the uh, palette and insert it, then connect it back. I'm not going to use this. I find it faster to do what is to double click on the unit operation that we have and give him, for example, number three. What, the, what would this do? Notice, if I click OK, what happened?
what happened really is Hisys generated stream number three for me, connected it to the mixer, which is mix-100, and it did the material balance and energy balance on this stream, and we don't need to specify anything with a mixer. Why? Because the material balance is mass in equals mass out, energy in equals energy out. That's what does a mixer do, so we don't need to specify anything. So what happened to the color of the mixer? It becomes grayish with dark outline, black outline. Which means what? It's sold, it's already done. You do not need to change anything here. If I would like to look at the data for that mixer, I can always, for any unit operation, look at the worksheet. What is a worksheet? It is a summary of all streams in and out of that flow sheet. So if we notice the vapor fraction for stream one, which was toluene, it is zero, it's liquid. For stream two, which is uh, hydrogen, it is one, which is a vapor. So we are feeding hydrogen as vapor and toluene as liquid. And the outlet stream out of this mixing is 0.49, which means what? 49% of this stream is vapor, 51% is liquid. The temperature, 75 and 70, 73.11. From the energy balance, energy in equals energy out. The pressure is the same, no pressure drop on this mixture, or on this mixer, I'm sorry. Molar flow rate, mass in equals mass out. If you add 274.2 plus 272.3, you will get the 546.5. Mass flow, it's the same thing. So, and it calculated the properties for each stream. You can carry out your calculations in this case. Now what I would like to do is 